In 1925, British explorer Percy Harrison set off on the greatest adventure of his life. He was drawn to the depths of the forest, in the heart of South America, with the goal of reaching a remote and unknown area hidden within the unexplored and mysterious lands of the Amazon rainforest. His stories inspired generations of explorers and adventurers to follow in his footsteps. But would the dream of a lost city full of treasures be real? Join us on a journey to explore the mysteries of the past. Over nearly 20 years, Harrison explored the wild nature of the Amazon rainforest. In 1906, he traveled to South America for the first time as an independent cartographer. He was responsible for creating the map of the border area between Brazil and Bolivia on behalf of the Royal Geographical Society. Between 1906 and 1924, he completed a total of seven expeditions in the Amazon jungle, completing mapping projects. He traced, for example, the source of the Verde River and the Heath River, in addition to mapping wild territories that had previously been unexplored. Harrison's time in South America was interrupted by the outbreak of the First World War in Europe. As such, he returned to England to serve in the Royal Artillery. Despite being almost 50 years old, he commanded a brigade. He became a decorated hero and was mentioned for his bravery three times in dispatches by Field Marshal Douglas Hay. He was awarded and even promoted to Lieutenant Colonel in 1918. Harrison held the opinion that the native peoples he met in the tribes of the Amazon rainforest were members of uncivilized societies. But, unusual for the time, he believed that their ancestors were the builders of sophisticated and advanced societies, full of treasures and many unrevealed mysteries. After discovering fragments of delicate and ancient ceramics on the jungle floor, Fawcett began to formulate the idea that a mysterious lost city existed in the depths of the Mato Grosso region of the Amazon rainforest. He was convinced that the lost city of Z, and potentially a lost civilization, existed as well. To prove it, he needed to raise funds for an expedition to explore the Amazon jungle and search for evidence. He managed to secure some support from archaeologists and specialists, but he faced total disdain from many other archaeologists and specialists in America who believed that the Amazon rainforest could not sustain such a large population, dubbing it a falsified paradise. In 1920, Harrison embarked on a solo expedition, accompanied only by pack animals, to try to find the lost city of Z. For years, he had been crossing the jungle, confident in his own ability to survive the harsh conditions and navigate the treacherous terrain. But after being struck by a debilitating fever and forced to slaughter his pack animals, he had no choice but to pause the expedition and return to civilization. Despite this setback, he had not lost his conviction that the lost city of Z actually existed. In April 1925, he returned on his last and most ambitious expedition, this time accompanied by his son Jack and his best friend Raleigh Rimmel. With his vast experience and loyal companions, he was more confident than ever. His last known letter was written on May 29, 1925, in a place called Dead Horse Camp. In the letter, he asserted his plan to enter unexplored territory. This was his last sign of life. He and his team were never seen or heard from again. The mystery of his disappearance was never solved but it is believed that the lost city may have been real. Later in 1925, Europeans first discovered the archaeological complex of Kuhiku, a lost city within the Amazon rainforest. It included about 20 cities and villages spread over more than 20,000 square kilometers. The memory of the civilization was preserved. The inhabitants used sophisticated engineering, worked on large-scale agricultural activities, and built large monuments along the ground to their gods. Percy Harrison Fawcett probably discovered some of the remnants of the Kuhiku civilization, such as ceramic fragments, without realizing it. He thought he had found evidence of a lost settlement in the jungle, the city of Z. Many people believed that they were hit by indigenous tribes or got lost and died of starvation, while others believed that he finally found the lost land but was attacked by its inhabitants. No one knows for sure what happened. What's your opinion? Leave it in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.